He is known for his exceptional talent as a performer and his role as a chamber harpsichordist. He is recognized for his close association with J.S. Bach and Wilhelm Friedemann Bach. His name is Johann Gottlieb Goldberg. In the annals of music history, one name stands out, Johann Gottlieb Goldberg, a legendary composer and performer. Born in Danzig, Royal Prussia in 1727, Goldberg's exceptional talent was recognized at a young age. It was around 1737 when he caught the attention of Hermann Karl von Kaiserling, the Russian ambassador to Saxony. Reportedly, Goldberg studied with two great composers, Johann Sebastian Bach and Wilhelm Friedemann Bach. The exact dates of his studies are unknown, but it is believed that he may have studied with J.S. Bach as early as 1737 and with W.F. Bach before 1745. But perhaps the most famous part of Goldberg's life is the story recounted by Johann Nikolaus Forkel, Bach's biographer. It is said that around 1741, Goldberg, then only 14 years old, was the favorite chamber harpsichordist of Count Kaiserling. The Count, who often suffered from insomnia, requested Bach to compose a set of variations that Goldberg could play to help him sleep. Bach, who initially considered variations to be a tedious task, took on the challenge and created a masterpiece. These variations, now known as the Goldberg Variations, became a cherished work that the Count referred to as his variations. The Count was so delighted with Bach's composition that he presented him with a golden goblet filled with 100 Louis Dior, a reward that Bach cherished greatly. Goldberg continued to serve Count Kaiserling until around 1745, after which he disappeared from historical records. However, around 1750, he reappeared in a concert described by Wilhelm Friedemann Bach in a letter. In 1751, Goldberg was hired by Count Heinrich von Brühl and remained in his employ until his untimely death at the age of 29 due to tuberculosis. Goldberg's burial took place in Dresden on April 15, 1756, marking the end of a remarkable but tragically short life. In the world of classical music, Johann Gottlieb Goldberg may not be as well known as his contemporary, Johann Sebastian Bach. However, Goldberg's compositions showcase his versatility and his ability to adapt to the changing musical landscape of his time. His works, while diverse in style, offer a glimpse into the transitional period of music history. Goldberg's early compositions bear a striking resemblance to those of J.S. Bach himself, leading some to believe that he may have studied under the renowned composer. The influence of Bach is evident in the intricate harmonies and contrapuntal melodies found in Goldberg's earlier works. These compositions serve as a testament to the musical education he received and the deep respect he held for his mentor. As time went on, Goldberg began to explore different musical trends and adapt to the evolving tastes of the Dresden court. His later works display a clear influence of the Gallant style, a lighter and more graceful musical form that was popular at the time. These compositions showcase Goldberg's ability to appeal to a wider audience and his sensitivity to the changing musical preferences of the era. One of Goldberg's notable achievements is his collection of concertos, which exhibit a sophisticated harmonic language reminiscent of the works of Bach's son, Carl Philipp Emanuel. These concertos were likely composed for the musicians of Heinrich von Brühl, a prominent figure in the Dresden court. They demonstrate Goldberg's mastery of syncopation, chromaticism, and melodies with a wide range, highlighting his ability to experiment with different musical techniques. In addition to concertos, Goldberg also composed various other forms of music, such as cantatas, trio sonatas, and keyboard pieces. Unfortunately, some of his works, including a set of chorale preludes, have been lost to history. However, the surviving compositions serve as a testament to Goldberg's talent and his ability to navigate the ever-changing musical landscape of his time. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.